Hi everyone, welcome to day eight of home renovations. I'm on my old camera, the quality is not as good. I apologize, but I have to um, charge my new one. Trying to find some good lighting. Not, ooh, ooh, not really happening. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is we're gonna go over to the breaker box, turn off the electricity, and start taking off plates and things like that and gathering what we need to Put the new switches on. Why are you doing new switches less? Because I've always wanted the rocker style because they're cool. Oh, we have issues. And the black will accentuate my complimentary or my accent color, which is black. I love it. Okay? Don't judge. Let's go. Here are all of the wood pieces baseboard pieces that I get to varnish and paint. Quick Aldi haul. Woo! I had to get these two cutting boards, A, because they're precious. A leaf and a pumpkin. Early fall, late fall. Love it all. But it just reminded me of my flooring and it's going to be so beautiful. Ten bucks a piece at Aldi. Run and get you some, okay? Alrighty then. So over here, I have my breaker box, and I painted it the same color of the wall. They tell you not to because they want it to be easy to find in an emergency. Yada, yada, yada. I don't want a gray, ugly metal door in my living room. Thank you very much. You see this up here? This is to turn everything off. <clears throat> All electricity is now off. We're saving money. Okay. Nothing is on. We will hit the on buttons. Lights do not come on. Okay, we're safe. No electricity to any outlet. Let's go gather our items that we need. All right, you see that one right over there? That's where I'm starting. It's three switches, so one, two, three, and one, two, three. So I need three rockers. One, look at that brazing. It looks really bad today. Um, two, three, and then a three gang plate. Okay? Now, hopefully this will be the only one that will be out of focus or not as close because I can't screw this into my tripod because the screw is um, stripped. <laughs> One of the reasons why I had to get a new camera. Okay? Alright then. So, need a Phillips head screwdriver? Nope. Need a flat head. Got one of those. Got one of those round cows in there. Okay, electricity, whole house electricity's off. Everything's off, and it's fine. Not really sure why I got the biggest screwdriver. My arthritic hands are not working very well. I could do this with my drill much faster. <laughs> We'll think about that. All right, and you're left with 
three of these. I am going to go get my other camera so that you can see this part close up. And then maybe I'll just put it back on the charger. We, we don't know. Let me bring you in so that you can see. Here's what it looks like. Ooh, does that look scary? It's not. There's two screws on this side. One is for your hot wire, one is for your neutral wire. Should be a green one on this side right here. Green means ground, okay? Really easy, it's just like your lights. You got a black, a white, and a ground. That's all it is. Hot, neutral, ground. Really easy. Anyone can do it. Just turn off your electricity first. So my other camera battery died, but I've connected the hot and the hot and the neutral and my ground wire and I have screwed this back in. And you know that this goes at the top cuz right here it says top. This is in case you need to shift them. I just screwed it in just to get it in the wall. If I need to shift them, I will do so afterwards. But I'm going to go ahead and replace these two. Put the plate on, turn on the electricity, make sure they work. All right, I'm on my last one. This is the ground wire, which goes on this side. The wiring they did in this place is ridiculous. This is the hot wire, and this is the neutral wire, okay? I'm gonna go hook this up real quick, turn on the air because I'm sweating, and it's really hot. <laughs> Thanks. All three have been installed they're all in the off position. I'm going to put the plate on, turn the electricity back on, and we're going to just test this one and see if it turns on my overhead light. All right, before I put the rest of the screws in the plate, I want to make sure this works. So I'm going to go over to... Here, turn on the electricity. Ah. All my things are gonna ding and my lights are gonna come on. All the things are gonna happen. Everything is fine. This battery is dying too. Let's do the big reveal. Oh. Oh, it's the middle one. <laughs> Yay, she did it. She did it right. All right, very good. All right, <clears throat> we are back in business. All batteries are charged. This GFCI, I bought one and it, it, I, it does not work. I do not know why it does not work because there's only, you know, one way you can why are these and I mean I was getting power to it but it wasn't I couldn't do the test thing it was weird I don't know I don't know so I just put my old one back put a black thing on it I'm fine with that for now this is uh, completed I have turned all of the electricity off to this part again because um I'm getting ready to change out this one and I was going to take you with me. I also want to show you what else we're doing for day eight. <laughs> we are varnishing, ver varathaning, something. Putting the um, sealant on the wood. I've done one coat, sanded it with a 220, put a second coat, letting that dry. Might sand it before I paint it. I'm just gonna put two coats because I don't have all day. I got 54 of these to do, and here's five. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna do two coats, then I'm gonna do my paint in two coats, 
and then I'll just come through and do wood filler and uh, all of that repaint, you know, after they nail them. We're not doing gluing. We're not gluing. No, no. Then I took these and I put a, a layer of the varnish on them because I believe this is nothing more than just MDF, which is multi-density fiberboard. It's where they just take a bunch of sawdust pretty much and just squeeze it together under a bunch of heat and it's just a cheap way to make wood or make it look like wood um, and this should be you know a piece of vinyl over it but we we know how that goes we have a piece of vinyl on this floor and the, it just pops so um, I'm going to let those dry for a minute. We're going to work on the three receptacles up there. And then we'll get to painting these five boards. I'll probably put a coat, let it dry, put another coat, let it dry. Then I'm going to flip them over. And I'm going to put the Varathane on the other side. And I'm wondering right now if I should do that before I paint it. Which I think I should because I don't want it to drip on the paint. Okay. So, we'll come back to that. We're going to do electrical. Then we're going to come back and Varathane the rest of these. Or polyurethane or whatever it's called. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> so, I'm going to take you through this. All right, here I'm just speeding it up, but basically I'm just taking all of the wires off so that I can get the outlet out. And then um, basically just take that bottom wire that's copper, that goes to the green. I'm going to put one of the wires onto, I'm trying to show you that that's where the top is. It tells you where the top is. I always, well, I usually do the ground wire first. Green is ground, and then these just have an on-off switch, so you're just going to have two black wires, um, and so I just kept them in the same order, one at the bottom, screw it in, one at the top, screw it in, repeated that three times. Sometimes the hardest part is getting them back into the wall. But yeah, it's a pretty easy process. Not too scary. I think you could do it if you wanted to. Then, I'll be following that huh? Now let's do some plugs. Oh, she's so beautiful. Just so beautiful. Now we're getting to the good stuff. 
All right, with the old camera again, because my battery died, we have replaced these lights. Just the plate on that. We have replaced this receptacle. These lights. And this receptacle. And now I'm doing what I should be doing. <laughs> I have one coat on one board. These are all polyurethane ready for paint. And that's what I'm going to be doing for the next little while.